Yo, Lena, which one was your favorite? <laughs> the fried. The fried. <laughs> you like the fried? <laughs> what the? So this is day one of three of the camping trip. So stay tuned to our channel and we'll be posting the other days also. I'm gonna try to make a couple videos out here. Tomorrow, more than likely, I'm going hunting. Maybe after coyotes. Last time we came out here, we saw a bunch of grouse. So we might get on some of those. Fish bones. So hopefully we can get some crawdads out here so I don't gotta be picking fish bones out of my teeth. But we brought all the crawdad stuff, everything to boil them and catch them. But it's cold water right now. So we'll see what happens. I really do hope we get some because if we do, tomorrow we're gonna be eating like kings. Did a good job setting this up. That was quick. Record time. <laughs> Lena, uh, you sure you're gonna be able to stay in there tonight? 20 degrees? Yup. Yeah. Alright. You got the Fritos, you put in the meat, you put in the chili, put in the lettuce and everything else. And then you just mix it around and it's like really good. Super good. Throw in some cheese. Like that. Some hot sauce. And you got yourself a meal ready for kings when you're out here camping. That's lunch for you. Yep. So we just finished setting up camp. So uh, I got three crawdad traps right here. This lake's known for its crawdads. There's a lot of big crawdads in here. I'm also putting on these boots right here. Tucking my pants in them and everything. Um, if I can manage to catch this enough crawdads will have a boil tonight so that'll be awesome because I've seen some videos other videos people making stuff and people catch hundreds here so I'm excited and we're also gonna be going after trout got the three rods all we're gonna do is because there's so many crawdads here we're not really worried about um, them getting to it from outside the trap we're just getting a chicken leg that's just what they're selling and plopping it in there and that's gonna work perfect right there I'm gonna head down to the lake all right, we're down here at beautiful Cave Lake. Uh, got our first crawdad traps. My brother already almost caught a fish. They're just swimming real shallow and stuff. So I'm gonna throw out the first crawdad trap. Over here looks a bit deep. There's a trout right there. But I'm gonna throw it right here because it looks nice. So. Oh yeah, we forgot the flight pole. I bet you flies. What I got them. Man, there's trout everywhere here. Every cast there's chasers, but you're probably using the wrong color. They don't want to commit. Look right here. Straight down five feet from the edge. Probably 13, 14 inch rainbow trout. It looks like it. He hey, there's it. a trout looking at Adrian's bait. What do you think? He had it in his mouth earlier, but he didn't get hooked. Dang, that's a nice one. Oh, man. Oh, that was a big one. You don't want to lift net. them. Not with that tiny hook. We're using yeah. tiny hooks. He was like a solid 12, 13 inches. Yeah, with that 12, size 12 hook, you can't really <gasps> lift them out of the water because it barely hooks your mouth. Dang it's it. all good. We got them. We know what they want now. Hook up. We got a hook up. Aiden just hooked up on the first fish. He's fat, though. Look how fat he is. Those are some nice It's a nice colors. rainbow. I just lost a, a cutthroat that was two times the size of this one. 
Probably. That's a beautiful fish right there. Mm -hmm. I'll take a picture with him. Dang. All right, he's going on the stringer. Julian just hooked up. Adrian just got his first. It's loaded. There's trout everywhere. I was out there near the shallows using a lure. Casted it out and I was reeling it in very slow. I saw him. Then he just went up and he hit it. That's a good it, one. And then I had him on. That was literally like 30 seconds after I caught mine. Right here. They're nice, healthy fish here. Alright. Get I'm, on there. I'm trying it. to get one of the giants though. I lost one that was probably a pound and a half trout because I tried to I uh, tried to flip him in and he got off But we'll catch one that big This is my very first brown trout I've ever caught It's pretty cool. He's small though, but we're gonna let him go. He broke a new species Mm-hmm So we're right here on the pier You get all these trout trout everywhere out there, there's a couple. I don't know if you can see them. A couple two, three pounders are kind of far out though. We didn't bring the boat. People were telling me it wasn't necessary and it's not. We're just catching so many fish, it's crazy. Look at that trout right there, has a hunchback. That's a hunchback trout. It's weird looking. Wow. Look at this trout Adrian just caught. Looks like the hunchback of Notre Dame. That oh. is a weird looking fish. Yeah. Let's see, hold him up straight. I'm trying to. He, stopped he had a broken spine at some point. Let me see. He has that some good colors weird. though. Look at that thing. Should we just kill it or let it go? I Should think let just go? let him go. So we're actually going to call it a day right now. Uh, my brother, myself, and my dad, we had a great day out here fishing with power bait and a little bit of lures too, like little trout spinners. And between everybody, you're allowed five fish a person. So we each caught about three keepers. As you can see, some nice ones. So caught some real nice ones today. I'm gonna go fry them up right now over at camp. It's not looking good. It's super cold right now. Water's probably 40 degrees. I don't know if we'll have to wait till night, but we haven't been getting anything, so maybe we'll wait till night and try to walk the edges or something or throw them out. We'll see. But not a single car that so far. So we're back at camp. Really quick, I want to show you guys how I gut trout really fast. All you do is you go up here, you cut up all the way to the top. Just cut like that. Come in here, poke through the other side of the tongue. There's little crevices right there. There's a little crevice. Poke through it, come out the other side. It's gonna be over the tongue. Cut it open. And then you're gonna stick your finger down the throat and you're gonna grab your other finger, put it on the jaw and pull downward. Once those gills separate, I go over the gills, stick my finger in there and I pull downward. Just one fluid motion. All you need to do is take out that little bloodline what you could do with your thumb, just need some water. See, it's already clean. And then you got a gutted trout right there. So this is pretty much the biggest trout I've ever caught, I'm pretty sure. And I'm gonna show you guys how to flay them real quick. Real easy way uh, for trout that aren't that big. So you can come up behind the gill right here, go at an angle upward towards the head. So you get as much meat as you can. And trout don't have really thick rib bones. On striped bass, big stripers, you can go ahead and follow but on trout, they don't have thick ribs, so you can just turn the knife and follow that rib, follow the spine. I like to put my hand on top of them for support. Follow that spine, follow the spine. Once you get about here, you know, we like to keep skin on the trout, so on this one, I think I'm probably gonna keep it, keep the skin, but here, I'll put that aside real quick. So this is your fillet right here, nice little fillet. And all you got in here is the ribs left. And all you do to get out the ribs is you go ahead and take your knife and just follow them down. If you do it right, you shouldn't waste very much meat at all. There it is. I'll go ahead and cut through the skin. There we go. 
And then on bigger trout, if you really want it completely boneless, they have something called pin bones. So listen. If you follow your finger right here, you can feel bones on bigger trout usually. You go ahead and take like a pair of tweezers or something and if you want it completely boneless, truly, just go ahead and pull each one out and it'll be boneless. But for now, that's good for us. Just give them a quick rinse. And that trout is ready to be cooked. So what's happening is I'm gonna cook these trout three different ways. I'm gonna cook some like this over an open fire, some in some foil. My family likes it different ways, so multiple ways. And one of them is gonna be frying. But everyone likes it a certain way, so this will please everybody. This is the way I really like it. Trout turns out good pretty much always, but this way usually turns out pretty good too. So this is the first one. It's the one wrapped in aluminum foil. I have it in this little holster so it's easier to get out. We don't really feel like digging in the, the coals or anything. So that one could just sit right there. I'm actually going to lay this one on top of this one. I'm just going to set it right here. It's good. Last but not least, this is the family favorite method to do it right here, fry them. So we're just going to season them up, throw them on the fryer. So all we're going to do is just throw a little bit of garlic salt on them. The lemons for after they're done. A little bit on both sides, you don't need a lot. Just get a little bit over the whole thing and just throw them over the oil. All right guys, I'm cooking it three different ways, open the open fire. I'm gonna tell you guys which one I like the best in a minute after they're all done and which one's the family favorite also. All right. Oh, it's falling. But the fried trout's done now. The little secret trick to get a little bit of lemon at a time. You liking that, Jim? Yeah. How's it taste? Good. Awesome. These ones are about to be done in a couple minutes. They're already starting to char a bit. All right, I'm taking this one off right here. It looks like it's done. Every time I turn on the camera, the smoke blows right at me. But here we go. Yeah, they're done. Look at that side. Okay, perfect. I'm going to check out these guys in a minute. But now I'm going to set them there, let them cool off a bit so we can actually touch them. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Perfecto. And we're just going to throw some lemon on them, do a good old taste test. Let you guys know what I think of them. And see how this one turned out. That one was on the open fire, right? Is it done? Is the question. Yeah, that yeah. looks done. <laughs> Close Been enough. for a little bit. Close enough, it's still kind of pink, but. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Is it better than the fried? I don't know about that, but it's pretty good. Last but not least, the one that was wrapped in aluminum foil. Mm, look at that. Still steaming in there. Dang, right when you open it, you get a, a, a nice, nice smell coming from it, so. See how this one turned out. That one's good. It tastes like like a super healthy version of it. <laughs> it's actually really good though. Wow. I can really taste the tomatoes, the onions, <laughs> lemon, garlic salt. That's super good. Everything we added to it actually soaked into the meat. See, I'm a professional put, now. You're gonna have to put lemon on it though, because we didn't put lemon before, did we? Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we poured some in there. Overall, the chef of this stuff recommends that recipe. <laughs> you like the food? Yeah. Delicious. What about you? You ever had trout like that over a fire? No. <laughs> All right. How about you, Julian? Excellent. Look at, you could tell he likes it. His whole mouth is full of it. <laughs> Eat that skin though. That's the best part, boy. Canina, which one was your favorite? <laughs> Canina. <laughs> Don't choke on a bone. <laughs> was yours a fried also? Yeah. Fried. Just choking. <laughs> uh, mine was fried too. Mine was fried. Mine was between fried. baked and fried. Look at all that food. You hooked it up for real this time. That's good. There's so many different ways that he cooked trout this time. Your mom likes that one. <laughs> You like the fried one? I like them all. And Lena likes that one that was just cooked over the fire. So that's it for today's video. Uh, we cooked trout. I did three different methods. I baked it. I fried it and I cooked it over an open flame. Everybody's favorite. 
had to be between the fried and the bake. People still like this one, but it wasn't exactly their favorite, but it's still gonna be eaten. Out of the 10 trout, this is all that's left and people are still eating like crazy. So we're definitely sitting on full stomachs off the fish we caught. And tomorrow we actually plan on going hunting or something. <laughs> so um, stay tuned, I'm gonna have multiple parts of this video. We're gonna be out here for about three days maybe or something like that. And we'll see what happens. Maybe get some coyotes. I want some grouse or chucker. So other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors. <laughs> Stay tuned and enjoy.